If you're looking for a vacation location with it all, look no further than picturesque Nantucket, Massachusetts. This quaint island boasts cobbled roads lined with vintage homes, surfable sandy bays, strollable piers, some of America's oldest historical sites, and picture postcard ocean views. It sits in the Nantucket Sound, just over 30 miles offshore from Cape Cod, and is reachable by ferry, charter boat, or private vessel. So stick around to find out about the best things to do on Nantucket. Nantucket Beaches One of the main reasons people visit Nantucket, particularly in the warmer months, is the stunning beaches. The island has just over 80 miles of coastline, meaning there are a lot of picturesque bays to choose from. Families with young kids are drawn to Children's Beach with its calm water, soft sand, playgrounds, and picnic areas. Surfers should stop at Nobadir Beach, which is also popular with everyone from teens to four-wheel drive enthusiasts. You can drive your vehicle on the sand. Head to Sias Consett Beach for the sunrise and seals. Nantucket Whaling Museum The Nantucket Whaling Museum is one of the most popular attractions on the island. It tells the story of the island's 400-year-old whaling past through exhibition galleries stuffed with everything from an enormous Fresnel lens to a real sperm whale skeleton. There's even a refurbished candle factory dating from the mid-1800s. Once you're done observing antiques, paintings, and artifacts, and reading about whaling history, head to the rooftop for unrivaled views over Nantucket Harbor. Before we tell you more about the best of Nantucket, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Brant Point Lighthouse There are three main lighthouses on Nantucket, and Brant Point Lighthouse is the smallest at just 26 feet tall. This quaint lighthouse has the distinction of being America's teeniest lighthouse and its second oldest. It was completed in 1756 and thankfully still stands proud today. Head here to admire the lighthouse and walk the wild coastal shores that surround it. Sconset Bluff Walk Nantucket is full of family-friendly walking and biking trails, but one of our favorites is the Sconset Bluff Walk. The well-maintained footpath runs behind some of Nantucket's oceanside homes, taking you right along the coast for breathtaking views of the ocean edged with heathland. We recommend heading out in the late evening. On your way back, you can catch a spectacular Nantucket sunset if you're lucky. Note the trail is narrow and uneven in places, so it may not be suitable for very young children or people with difficulty walking. Great Point Lighthouse Another one of Nantucket's famed lighthouses is the Great Point Lighthouse. This one's a bit harder to get to, but you'll need to take 16 miles of trails through the Coscata Cochu Wildlife Refuge to reach it. You can hike there, rent some fat bikes, or for the more daring, jump on a few four-wheel drives for an off-road adventure. The Great Point is favored as much by local fisher folk looking to catch their dinner from the shore as it is by photographers. Nantucket Golf Courses The island is home to a number of quality golf courses, perfect for casual or serious players. Maya Comet Golf Club is a favorite of locals and a good choice for visitors. It boasts 18 holes, a driving range, and a putting green. Sias Consett Golf Club is the oldest on the island. It was established in 1899. This charming nine-hole course has a decidedly informal atmosphere, so it's the perfect place to take the kids. San Katy Head Golf Club and Nantucket Golf Club are both members only, so you'd need to get an invite from a member to play. But it's worth the effort. Both 18-hole courses are flawless and offer everything from practice facilities and restaurants to stunning coastal views. San Katy Head Light This tower was built in 1850 on San Katy Head to ensure ships were able to navigate the deceptively dangerous shoreline as they approached or sailed past the island. It still shines its light today, though the process has been automated since the mid-60s. Head here for the sunsets, views of the cliffs at the end of the Grey Lady, and even bird's eye view of Nantucket if you're lucky enough to get to climb the lighthouse. Sanford Farm like much of Nantucket, Sanford Farm is steeped in history. The almost 800 acres of preserve is part of a much larger parcel designated as Common Land in 1659. It was used as grazing land by the island's inhabitants throughout the 17th and 18th centuries. Today, it consists of three sections, Sanford Farm, Ram Pasture, and the Woods. Take the well-marked trails on foot or cycle through sand plains and grasslands and past ponds and historic barns. Don't forget to stop from time to time to admire the unrivaled ocean views. Maria Mitchell Association Scientist, librarian, educator, and naturalist Maria Mitchell is widely regarded as America's first woman astronomer. She also happens to be a Nantucket native. The Maria Mitchell Association runs a variety of venues related to the life and achievements of this incredible woman. Visit the aquarium to get up close and personal with marine life large and small. Head to the Vestal Street Observatory to peer into the vast depths of space. Fill your brain with natural history knowledge at the Natural Science Museum. And head to historic Mitchell House to see how people, including Mitchell herself, lived all those years ago.
Shipwreck and Life-Saving Museum If you're fascinated by the shipwrecks of days gone by, you'll love visiting the Shipwreck and Life-Saving Museum. Here, you'll learn all about the ships that broke apart on the wild shores of Nantucket and the brave people who risked their own lives to rescue the survivors. Interesting artifacts related to lighthouses and ocean rescue sit alongside model ships. Jethro Coffin House The Jethro Coffin House is a perfectly preserved example of a local salt box home, popular in America between the 17th and 18th centuries. This particular structure is one of the oldest houses on the island today and boasts a traditional kitchen garden replete with herbs, vegetables, and fruit commonly grown in 1600s Nantucket. Cisco Brewery and Nantucket Vineyards If you're looking to take a bit of a break from ocean views and all that incredible history, head to the Cisco Brewery and Nantucket Vineyards. This local beer and wine producer was founded by Dean and Melissa Long, who craft everything from limited vintages of Merlot, Chardonnay, Syrah, and Pinot, and a wide range of tasty boutique beers. Take a tour of the complexes to learn how your favorite tipple is made. Nantucket Athenium If it's raining outside, take the kids to the library. And not just any library, the famed Nantucket Athenium. It's built on the spot where an older library once stood until it burned to the ground in 1846. Go for the books, but also for the wide variety of events and cultural programs. Old Mill The Old Mill is one of the most iconic Nantucket tourist sites. The windmill was built in the mid-1700s by local man Nathan Wilbur, who was inspired by the windmills dotted throughout the Netherlands. Head here to see corn kernels being ground into a fine powder, or just admire the movement of the immense sails. Bartlett's Farm Sometimes it feels like Bartlett's Farm has been a part of Nantucket forever. It's certainly a bucket list item for the many tourists that hit the island shores each summer. Bartlett's Farm is the oldest and largest farm on Nantucket and specializes in locally grown produce, flowers, and garden plants. Head here for the market, landscaping, takeout restaurant, and legendary tomatoes. Dreamland Film and Performing Arts Center If you're looking for something to do in the evening, catch a performance at the Dreamland Film and Performing Arts Center. There's a rotating cast of plays, operas, musicians, ballets, and art house films. The center is non-profit, so your ticket price goes directly into supporting local arts. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites on Nantucket? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.